Buying a TV or a monitor sounds like an easy enough task, right? Well, but then you go in and you find out that there's all sorts of technical terminologies around monitors and televisions, so much so that it can be an intimidating experience. Well, fret not, I'm going to make the concept of resolution very linear for you, so much so that you'll be far more informed and hopefully it'll make your purchasing decision significantly easier. So let's get started. Before we get into the finer details, let's understand what resolution essentially is. Simply put, it's the amount of pixels we have on any given display. The more pixels we have, the higher the resolution. Now while there are many different types of resolutions, the most common ones you'll hear about include Full HD, Quad HD, and Ultra HD. Respectively, they're also known as 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. Now, putting aside the complicated terminology, they're very simple once I get to explaining exactly how resolution actually works. Let's say you have a display that has a full HD or 1080p rating. Simply put, this means it has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Another way of thinking about this is that it has 1000 920 columns and every column has 1080 pixels in it. Let's say you have a higher end resolution like UHD or 4K if you will. In this case, you have a resolution of 3840 by 2160, which again means you have 3840 columns and every column has 2160 pixels in it. That's considerably more than full HD. And as you might have guessed, the higher the pixel count, the higher the resolution, and in principle, the higher the clarity or the image representation of a given display. Now, while there are many different tab resolutions, the three I mentioned before are the most common ones you'll run into when buying a monitor or sometimes a television. I have left a link to a resolution table below, which kind of explains the terminologies as well as the actual resolution scaling, making it a little bit easier to understand when you go to buy a television or monitor next time when you're at, let's say, Best Buy. Hopefully, things are starting to sound a little bit more simple in nature now. But hold your horses, there is a second dimension of choosing the right resolution, and that is pixel density. This is usually measured in PPI or pixels per inch. Simply put, this is determined by your resolution and the physical size of the screen you're getting. The larger of a display you get, the lower your PPI gets. So let's explain this in a little bit more detail. Let's assume for a minute that you have three 19 inch screens, each of them with a different resolution. So you have one with a 1080p resolution, one with a 1440p resolution, and one with a 4K resolution. Now the screen with a 1080p resolution will have a 115 PPI rating. The one with the 1440p resolution will have a 155 PPI rating. And finally, the one with the 4K resolution will have a 216 PPI rating. Now let's say we get a much larger display. This basically means the pixels are more spread out now. So the pixel density will drop given we use the exact same resolutions. So let's say we have a 32 inch display with a full HD rating. This only has 69 PPI. A 1440p display will have 81 PPI and a 4K display will now have 138 PPI. As you can see, the PPI rating dropped across the board. However, without context, Context, this doesn't make any sense. Now, while there is no golden number, most of the industry agrees the optimal range in terms of PPI for your eyes to observe is between 95 to 115 PPI. Meaning, in the context of a 19 inch screen, a Full HD resolution is actually more than enough as you get a 150 PPI rating. But in the context of a much larger 32 inch screen, you only have a 69 PPI rating, which is far below the recommended minimum. So it might be more reasonable to get a 4K display in that scenario. If you're getting something in between like a 24 inch display, for example, a 1440p display would be a good compromise as it still has a 108 PPI rating, so it's still going to be clear enough. 
So all you need to understand is the higher the pixel density, the more crisp and clear a image will appear, while the lower the pixel density, the more blurry and unattractive a image will look. Simply put, try to stay within the 95 to 115 PPI range and that will give you a crisp amount of image. Although there is no inherent harm in going higher than that, you kind of get lost of diminishing return where the image will just look clear but not that much more clear if you go too much higher than that number. Hopefully by this point, you're feeling far more informed than you were a couple minutes ago. And hey, if you truly found this video to be helpful, I would truly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that like button. These videos take a ton of time and effort to make. It's pretty much just me over here making them. So you subscribing means the world to me and really helps me grow this channel and produce more content just like this. Also, thank you for watching. Now, a few things to keep in mind before I end the video. Firstly, keep in mind that the higher the resolution generally, the higher the cost associated. So a 4K display is almost always more expensive than a 1080p display in the same size category. Additionally, there are many, many, many other sub-technical aspects to a display like color accuracy, refresh rate, peak brightness, and so many other things. I do cover them extensively in another video if you're interested in learning more about the attributes of a display. This video that I made right now is a go-getter video, meaning it's designed to give you all the basic information about resolution and make a quick purchase decision. As always, thank you so much again for watching. Catch you in the next one.